Hello everyone and welcome back to Crusader Kings 2 Game of Thrones as the Beesburys of not only Honeyhold but also the High Tower or Old Town um, to, well, well, in more general terms. Um, so yeah, we are the new Lords of Old Town. We're not yet the High Lords of uh, the High Lordship of Old Town, but that will soon probably be the case. Now, um, if the High Towers try to attack us and regain their uh, ancestral keep, we have one, two, three family members that could defend us, and we have one ally, uh, the Mandalons, who actually helped us get Old Town as well. So we have four potential allies um, who are their vassals, and then we also have our uh, cousin, well, our aunt, uh, which is the Lady of Somerset, and our cousin will be, uh, yeah, will be the new heir of Somerset um, once he's old enough. So, yeah, we'll need some time to actually settle in and do stuff. We, um, we kind of run out of uh, characters um, at the moment, so a lot of our old uh, bodyguards have died, uh, so we need new ones, and I've looked around uh, a, you know, good potential people that we could ask. One is this guy, Rickard Waltkin. He's a formidable fighter, he's 16 years old, not married at all, and he would come to our court. So, yes, definitely invite this guy, he's gonna be one of our bodyguards. Then we also have Rhaegal Valerian. He's an attractive Valerian, obviously. He does not have a claim to the Iron Throne, so he probably won't leave our court. Um, he's the writer of Starwing, so that's pretty cool. And uh, he would also join our court. Um, so yeah, there you go. He does have a claim on uh, the Whispers, but you know, that's the Iron, Iron Island, so I don't care about this. Um, and yeah, he's basically, he's a good fighter, but obviously he's also a good commander simply because he's riding a dragon. Even though he himself is incompetent, but riding a dragon makes that kind of obsolete. Um, anyways, we also have um, now Ontario, or yeah, Ontario Lefford. Now this guy is a huge, huge Westerman, uh, he's only a trained fighter but a duelist. His personal duel skill is not the best, but his wife, the Lady Darian of the Stormlands, a Tully girl, she is huge as well, and she's a skilled fighter, um, so she, her duel skill is actually much better, so um, basically we just want to get her, but uh, we can't get her just like that, so we have to invite her husband, and she's gonna come with him, so we're gonna invite him as well, and then obviously his wife is going to be our uh, new bodyguard. So yeah, um, those are the people we need, and we can also pick a new commander of the City Watch of Old Town, because we are the new lords of the High Tower, so Old Town is obviously under our command as well. Your ability to take down any man in the brawl is well renowned. Many speak of prowess, and how it would be unwise to pick a fight with you, and that is true, because we are a formidable fighter. Lord Rui of Honeyhold. Alright, so, um, so currently, we still have Honeyhold as our capital, and we have to uh, be careful, we don't know what these uh, Iron Islanders, where they're heading, but they're probably gonna head into Old Town. Old Town itself does have a garrison of 1,000 men, but it doesn't have any levies, so we're gonna have to use our Honeyhold levies, 2,500 men, if we have to, or if we want to fight out, uh, fight off the Ironborn. Um, so yeah, let's see, once these guys arrive, we probably, um, oh yeah, 60, 60 ships. Okay, but they're passing by, so that's good. So Rickett Waltkin is the first one to arrive, and we're immediately going to make him a bodyguard. So there you go. So, um, one down. And then... Okay, Rhaegal has also accepted. Now, Rhaegal, I will probably make Rhaegal Valerion a dragon rider. I think I will make him the Lord Commander. Oh, well, yeah, the Lord Commander of uh, the City... Yeah, Lord Commander of the City Watch. Actually, no, I won't do that. I don't want. Uh, yeah, I don't. I don't want to actually do that. He brought his little girl, Relinor. Okay. Hmm. Well, let's actually wait until everyone has arrived, and then we'll make a decision on who we will give uh, command of Old Town of the City Watch. Simon Leffert has arrived as well. Not a huge guy. Okay, and she's also quite a good fighter. Yeah. So, she's probably also in Honeyhold now. No, she's in Tarbic Hall. But he... He's also... Okay, that's odd. But, uh, yeah, so let's actually check out who we can give this title to. So, um, who do we have available? Um, we have, obviously, Regal Valerian. We have our Master Arms, um, who's also our cupbearer in Bodyguard, Sir Jared Bigglestone. Uh, we have Ontario, we've just invited him. And then we have our Commander, Justin Crabb. Now... 
I think, and we'll have our rival with Galbert Chalstead. Um, I would like to go for Rhaegal Valerion, but I think we're rather gonna give it to Sir Jared Bickleson, a master arms. Yeah, we're gonna give him the load. Yeah, we've we known him uh, for the longest time, and uh, we actually like him the most out of all of you. Somehow, actually, we like this guy the most out of all of them. But yeah, we're gonna give it to Sir Jared. There you go. And now he left our court, obviously, so we need a new uh, master arms. But for now, let's pick a new bodyguard as well. And let's see who we have. So she has 12 duels. We're gonna pick the one the most duels got, and that is Lady, the Lady Tully. Um, although, do we really want to pick a lady to defend us? Yeah, why not? Why not? Yeah, she likes us, we like her, so that's good. And obviously, we now need a new Master Arms, and we're going to pick... Oh, no, actually, we need a new Treasurer. Why do we need a new Treasurer? Is that your wife? <clears throat> um, apparently, that was his uh, wife. I don't know. Um, that's who we can pick. Yeah, I think that was his wife. Right. So now we're gonna have to make the decision. We can make our wife um, treasurer as well. Um, but rather not do that, actually. I think we're gonna pick Meredith Bigglestone. Um, this guy wants an army title. Oakmere. Um, because my wife is probably a better spy master, and that's also what she wants to become. Yeah. And my mother's gonna die soon. So yeah, we're gonna make this woman... Uh, Treasurer, but collect taxes and honey hold for now because we still have um, the sold off land to Burger. So we're getting less taxes from Old Horn, but in in total we're making almost seven bucks now, which is amazing. And winter is coming to an end. Awesome. And we now need a justice sir. What happened to a justice sir? I don't know, but uh, apparently this guy's the best we have. So let's pick him, Tommen of Oakmere, and we want to fabricate a claim on Brightwater Keep. Yes, because then we would have a line here. Awesome. Okay, very cool. And uh, the Ironborn, so far, they don't care about Old Town, which I'm very happy. Uh, don't want to fight Ironborn right now. There's really other things I would rather do. Okay, and uh, yeah, winter is coming to an end. Um, so no, we still have winter over here, but not in Old Town, so that's good. And soon enough, it will go away uh, in Honeyhold as well. Lovely. The dragon as Savol has built a lair in Old Town, escaping from Relinor Valerion. Okay. Can we face the dragon? I think we can. Should we do this? No, we're coward. <sighs> Let's see if we can. Let's just see if we even can face the dragon. Yes, we can. Esoval. Yep. Try to face the dragon. I know we're craven. And, uh, oh. Our courier just died from a severe maiming. He was our commander. So we need a new commander. But you are mine. And, uh, yeah, we've done a terrible job. And we're wounded now. And depressed. No, we're only wounded. Oh well. Well, that's probably uh, a lesson. But yeah, we're gonna make this guy our uh, commander. Alright, so hopefully this is just gonna get a uh, scar and then that's fine. We're not maimed, so yeah, let's send down the troops. Actually, 900 men, that's pretty good. That grew fast. How do we get 900 men? Oh, our vassal levies as well, right. Okay, so we tried to face the dragon and now... Okay, we're not gonna face the dragon again, unless we change to brave. We probably need, shouldn't even have tried it, but I just kind of wanted to see if it works. Um, Lord Branston, um, to participate. Um, I'm sorry, I can't because I'm wounded. Um, but I will... Is that the same guy? Uh, participate. I think so. It says invited me to compete, but I think this is just watching it. I don't know. Um... Aemon Valyrian now rides Pestire into into battle. Okay, those are just uh, small dragons. Okay, nothing we care about too much. Yeah, but look at that money, lovely. But look at that. Oh, there is pesky red wine straits. No, nope. there is people coming. We see the Ironborn. So raise to Honeyhold levies. 
Um, and let's actually... That's actually stupid to have two flanks. But, you know, okay, actually what we're gonna do... We're gonna um, put everyone here, except for small force of 200 men. This one will we will be supported by Garrus Blackman, who's blinded, and then we're gonna have Rhaegal over here, and we're gonna lead the center. So we'll lead the center, we'll be supported, and then we have Rhaegal leading a small flank with his dragon, which I think should be sufficient. Okay, so there's the uh, Raiders of Ternisio, Shame Isle. They have uh, arrived. Now, we're gonna attack them. They wanna run away, but we're gonna pinch them in with our Lord Commander of the, uh, of the, the City Watch. They're gonna stop them, hopefully, so we uh, so that our levies can arrive. Perhaps it was a little too prematurely. Apparently we are indeed fighting in the, in the war. That's something I didn't want. Need to educate our firstborn daughter. And since we're diligent, we're gonna do this ourselves. There you go. She is strong after all. We have already lost the battle. And we have been hit. But we have not yet been sent flying good. So apparently you gotta be wounded in order to to win. Yeah. So now that we're wounded, we actually do much better in the tournaments. Okay, so we won our first round, that's good. Um Where are these guys running? Okay, they arrive in the Whispering Sound. We've pushed the Ironborn or whatever these guys are. Shame us. More like pirates. Yeah, those are pirates. Bravosi pirate. Uh, well, so yeah, we've pushed them back into the sea. Well, there you go. That's that. And apparently, uh, yeah, so we're not getting knocked off now that we're wounded. And treasure of all town, our brother. Okay. And we've just hit our opponent. Let's stand down our levies. We've defended successfully. Good. And we've been hit again. Oh well. Hmm, so this seems a very tough, uh, tough battle here against this guy. Ryan Hastwick. Okay. Hmm, interesting. He has not won anything, but we've hit him twice in a row now, so he's... Yeah, there you go. He's unharmed, but we have sent him flying. And we have been declared winner. Okay, we gained five for this. And Emin Weber. Lord Renly the Monstrous. Who is Lord Renly the Monstrous? Lord Renly of Golden Grove. Okay, this guy, he is a Kinslayer and he has been excommunic excommunicated, but one of our... Wait, Alison Beesbury, she's the heir to the Lord's Buff Three Towers and she is imprisoned. Hold on. Can we rescue her? Plot to rescue her from prison. Yes, we will obviously do that. Um, we've been hit, and we've been defeated, unfortunately, but, oh, we've actually not won any, oh, no, we have, yeah, so we've been, I think, second, second place, yeah, no, yeah, second place, there you go, and issue a demand, so let's see who will join, nobody will join, um, Lord Renly, who, who is Lord Renly? Golden Grove, is it that guy? Lord Renly the Monstrous. Yeah. Hmm. Let's see if we can issue in demand. Yep, there you go. We want our family to be released. Um, Lord Rui, I will not be blackmailed into releasing my prisoners. Alison Beesbury shall remain in my custody as just punishment for the crimes she has committed. Okay, well, you know what? I think here strikes our cowardice into place. Um, we're not gonna declare the war. We're coward. Yep. There you go. And but has she been released though? Perhaps she has been re released even. I don't know. This is odd. Where's cold mode again? Hmm. Well, yeah, let me see your air. That that's probably the easiest way. No, she's still imprisoned, and she's wounded even. Oh my god, she has a claim on three towers. Yeah, Leda Weber. So she's probably next in line, right? Nicole Beesbury, Rui Beesbury. 
Ellison Nicole. Oh, okay, so if she dies, my, uh, my uncle is gonna take over. The master of Farheev and currently the Kusslan. Interesting. And she's probably gonna die, because no one's gonna release her. So let's uh, actually keep an eye on her, uh, because we do want to know how things work out here. Yeah, Luke Mervyn's not really the, uh, the best dude. He's content, slothful, and a stutter. Ah, uh, poor guy. Okay, but we're making that... Whoa. For a moment, we only made one cache. That's pretty bad. Okay, at least uh, the raiders have ceased to attack us for now, which is quite useful. Don't have to uh, bother with them. Um, yeah, Sobel is still over here, yeah. Well, I tried to do something about it, but it was... it wasn't possible. We're gonna have to wait before we're brave, uh, before we do anything... anything new. Um... Lords of Ultan, minimal city tax. Okay, and the war is over. Good. So, do we have a new king? No. Still Damon the Monstrous. What is this dragon again? Melee is the Red Queen, yeah. Quite powerful. Um, and we are still... Yeah. Lord of Old Town, heir to Lurch above. Farheev, heir to the city of Old Town, heir to Lurch with Norcross. So, yeah. We could actually inherit quite some stuff. I think we're also third in line to inherit this. Yes, Ruby Beesbury, third in line to inherit three towers. First for Norcross, um, and Starwing has arrived at my court. Okay, interesting. So, uh, quite some dragons around here. Very cool. A young artist is working a divine icon of the crone, the aspect of seven re representing wisdom. Um, I pray for wisdom. Do I pray for wisdom? Um, I would say yes. I think, I can't really decide, but I think yeah, we would pray for wisdom, I, I guess. Not entirely sure, but how many men do you have now? We've taken old town from you. Yeah, four thousand. So we could actually match him in in the, in a battle. Lord Luther. From Sir Lyman the Laughing Leopard. Okay, this guy is escaping. Oh no, those are just people attempting to um to get the dragon. I think that's what it is. And Rickett Walkin has a claim on. That okay, Meredith Bigglestone, my treasurer, I think, died in the suspicious circumstances. Well, that is a shame. We lost a bodyguard as well. Well, is there anyone else, anyone other than my wife, I could pick? She wants to become regent. She no longer wants to become a spy master. Well, we're gonna pick our wife now because uh, I can't be bothered. Um, and a new bodyguard. It's also necessary. Um, I think we're gonna pick Ontario Lefford. Yeah, not our commander, we're gonna pick this guy. Huge guy. He's actually not as good though. Alright, we're gonna pick Gregor Valerian then, our commander. Hmm, she died in suspicious circumstances. Hmm, oh well. Nothing uh, I can be really concerned with at the moment. We have other things to deal with. Uh, my daughter Lamour has a tender and loving soul, trusting everyone in the castle. I fear she will get hurt someday. Those who love, get love in return. Um, I'm Roth. Show everyone how virtuous she is. Thank the gods for her virtues. Um, I'm not proud. Tender soul, give her a tender back. Um, yeah, let's pick that one. And she's now envious. Alright, I think that was the right decision. Not not entirely sure. Not entirely sure, but I guess it doesn't really matter that much anyway. She's not our heir. I'm not gonna play as her. Alright, will these guys land in Old Town? Hopefully not. Okay, so how is she doing, Alison Beesbury? Apparently she's still alive, but she's in the Oblette and she's wounded. For how long can she actually live? How long has she been imprisoned? I wish I would tell you, but yeah, she's wounded and in the oblet. She's not gonna last long, and that means 
that then my brother will be the next heir to Three Towers. I mean, well, Merwin was probably going to be able to uh, produce an heir um, himself, but it's not given. Uh, he could die of, you know, whatever. We're not going to kill him, obviously. Muribald Headway is his... Uh, Guardian and Regent, okay. I guess he seems to be... Uh, yeah, he seems to be taking good care of him, so that's good. Fine with that. And who's fighting here? Westbrook, Ashford, and Dunstanbury. Against whom? This looks like Cockleswent. Cockleswent is at war. Okay. Branson of Dunstanbury. Ashford and Westbrook against Lady Arisa Cockleswent. Well, she's Reloa. Nobody likes you kind of the, the problem that you have. And his heir is uh, Inchfield. Wow. Kalof the Mech has usurped a lordship. Why would I care about this guy? Gods of Ibn. Why do I care about him again? God King Howd of Ibn. Alright. Well, that's not really uh, any of my business, so. This is actually House Blackmon still rules over here. We've taken uh, quite some some good bodyguards off of them. Garrus Blackman, however, is still alive. He's a... Yeah, look at that guy. 55 years old, blinded from age. But he is our captain of the household guard. He's a commander, master of hunt, and bodyguard. Quite a cool guy. Okay, we're still... Um, perhaps... Ellison Beesbury. Okay, so there she goes. Ellison Beesbury died in the dungeons. That now means... Um, Mervyn, your heir is my uncle. Yes, and my uncle's heir is me. So, we might actually, if something happens to Lord Mervyn, which, you know, is is possible. I mean, his father was uh, slain by Zyrax in personal combat once he tried to mount, mount him. So, we could actually inherit three towers just like that, which would be kind of cool, I guess. Um, although we don't really have enough people to give out our titles to, but it's fine. And, uh, oh, Lemur slowly mastering the art of swordsmanship. Well, there you go. Now, I think, however, we will send a mass arms to train the children in Honeyhold now. That means we're going to get less troops, but that's fine. We still have the old town levies to replenish, so we should be we should be doing all right on, on troops. Um, yeah, it's fine. We'll do, we'll do, we'll do all right. These guys are also replenishing. Now, um, the Sceptre of this guy, the High Septon, is not under our command. And, and the Citadel, yeah, neither is the Citadel. The Citadel is still under command of Lord Luther. Um, and the Maester wants a Valyrian steel sword. Interesting. Whew. So yeah, we have to plan our next move. We still have a claim on Dunsbridge. We can't declare a war. I, I wonder why... It's not considered a strong claim. Why is that not considered, you know, a, uh, a valid casus belli? I don't get it. I really don't understand, but oh well. I guess there must be a reason. Alright, so right now, still, the throne is stable. Nobody's doing anything important. We have quite some money saved up, and I think we're going to going to continue to save up money. Um, have we uh, sold off the land to burgers yet? No, but once that goes away, which is in two years, we're going to make so much more money. And oh, my lovely wife made me 40 gold. Awesome. So we could, um, now here's the thing, we now have two castles. We could build up a uh, honey hole, or we could uh, invest in the high tower. Um, both are good things, but I think what we're going to do is we're going to build a new castle in Honeyhold. The, um, I don't know, I just I just like to fill up that slot, make Honeyhold great, and then uh, we can move on to uh, some other place. And then we can make this, like, a title we give to our heir or something. And Dega Valerian has died. Was he in our court? Um, nope. Okay, so we don't actually care about that guy. A traveling poet who calls himself a bard arrived today. Okay. A good for nothing nobody. Hmm. Uh, if he does anything wrong, I will break every bone in his body. Uh, okay. 
my justice sir. He can stay for as long as he likes. Um, honestly? I, I get, well, if he does something wrong, I probably will break every bone in his body. Um, yeah, I'm wrath after all, I guess. Alright. I guess I don't really care, I should have picked the first one. Yeah, I pissed this guy off. It was to be expected. I guess I should have just picked the first one because I don't care about that guy at all. But, oh well. Whatever. It doesn't really matter that much. You want to become regent, my wife. Well, we still have that other thing going on. Uh, have you married yet? He's not married yet. 15 years old, not married. Still my uncle is the heir. Hmm. That means I'm the next heir. Brian asks, Daddy, where do children come from? Daddy will tell you when you get older. You know there are bees and flowers. Oh, that's kind of true. We are bees, after all. Um, be silent or I'll slap you. No, I don't think we would do that. Um, trusting the seed full. You know, there are bees and flowers. What would... I personally would probably just say... Daddy will tell you when you get older. Um... There's also the best. No, there are bees and flowers. <laughs> Although we don't want him to become a cri Oh, he became a tri Damn it. Oh well, that was the wrong choice then. And uh, when guests arrive, my daughter is the first to greet them. I introduce her to everyone at court. My daughter. Thank the mother that she isn't shy. Uh, the clear has child. Yeah, the child has clearly potential. I think that's a good one. Yeah, make her gregarious. Um, don't want to show her around. We're not proud, but we're actually humble. So, but still, she has great potential. Whoa, 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 what, what was this? We are under Lord Luther again. You're kidding, right? You're kidding. We're under Lord Luther again. And he wants me as Chief General. No, 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 no. We're under Lord Luther again? Ah, that's pretty bad. Alright, you know what we're gonna do then? Give me a claim on the High Lordship of Old Town. Can we actually do that? Can we actually, perhaps we can fabricate a claim on that? No, we're content, probably. That is unbelievable. Um, <laughs> okay, so no more independence for us, but we still hold Old Town, and he can't revoke it because we have all of these guys. So guys, we're back. Oh, and what happened to him? Garland, my nephew. Oh, so my sister is, uh, can I invite her to court? No, she likes, she likes her son. I, I get that, but she's 29 only. She's given birth to quite a lot of kids, Jesus. Okay, so she's now a court in Bandala, and she's just there at court. Garland, seven years old. Um, and Layla needs to be educated. She will be good with numbers. Uh, first one is educated at court, so she will be good uh, with numbers. Um, and I will give her well, we have the money. Um, but no, I think we're just going to give her a very good tutor. We're going to only spend highly on our heir. Um, we didn't spend highly on our first daughter, so it would kind of be mean not to do that. Or, no, spend highly on the second one then. Although our money, um, our monetary uh, situation is quite, or has changed quite a bit, so I guess it would be understandable. But yeah, um, Layla now needs a, a guardian as well. How old is our first daughter? She's eight years old. Uh, we could force her to train. No, we can't. Sent to the Silent Sisters. Um, I think we want to get a steward to educate this lady. And that's me. I'm the best steward. Fine. We're going to educate her for now. And uh, once our son comes of age, then uh, we're going to have to kick one of our daughters out. Um... Perhaps the first one will be educated by um, by a wife. She's not educating anyone at the moment, so yeah. That's probably one thing we can do, make her happy. Attraction, yeah, attraction to attractive, formidable fighter and knight. Lovely. Still wounded though, been wounded for quite a while. Yeah, the air situation has not changed. So unless he actually makes some babies, which, well he should, um, we're gonna inherit three towers, which I'm totally fine with, really. How much does it cost? Um, yeah, how much does it cost to build a castle? Nine hundred gold. That's pretty expensive, man. But I guess we're gonna do that. 
And do we still have Rose Road? Yeah. Um, well, I guess I'm going to put a cut in here, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time. It's Chief Drunker, signing off.